uh, Get Fund has the mandate to provide supplementary funding for all levels of education, that is the tertiary, secondary, and uh, primary uh, education. That is our, uh, the, the, the topmost core mandate. Okay, but we have Ghana Education Service, mm -hmm. we have the Tertiary Education Council, then we have the Ministry of Education. All of these get their budgets every year. How different are you from these people? Because they are like your parents, aren't they? No, they are, they are not. not. They are not. Get Fund is a separate entity. Uh, we are mostly regulated by Parliament. Okay. Uh, so we have a parliamentary uh, oversight. So the uh, allocation that comes to us, we take it to Parliament, and Parliament approves based on uh, what we call the distribution formula. That is how our money is spent. In apart from how we disperse our fund, we're supposed to also um, provide um, funding for the ministry itself and its agencies. So you support the ministry? Yes, sometimes. we support the ministry. I think I know get fund buses. You provide some yeah, buses. Yeah, there are a lot of, a lot of, that's the story that buses. we're trying to, mm. to, to tell today. I see. That is part of our supply system. Yeah. How different, okay, what are the key things? As a journalist, mm. I mm. gather information, process, and mm. present. Mm. What do you do at get fund? Um, like, are there um, key thematic areas that you... Yeah. Um, we, like I said, we provide uh, supplementary funding for the ministry and its agencies. We also provide funding for GTEC, that's the Ghana Tertiary Education Committee. That is our tertiary support. Mm -hmm. We also, um, that is through GTEC, these are dispersed to the various um, universities, the tertiary uh, universities and then colleges of education as a tertiary sector. Mm -hmm. We also provide um, uh, supplementary funding for scholarship secretariat for them to do um, uh, their award of scholarship locally. Uh, YEA, we support YEA in their funds, funding. We support the MPs to in their monitoring and then uh, project um, implementation. And then we also do scholarship over here. So these are basically the some areas, of the, look the areas that we look do you, at. Do you have regional offices, district offices? Is that how you operate or you just operate from the headquarters? Prior to 2017, when um, I, I, I was uh, given the mandate to serve, um, Get Fund had uh, its office in Accra, but we've added zonal office. The reason being that uh, we want to go into monitoring and evaluation the Get Fund had a project uh, vetting mindset. So when contractors or any claim comes in here, they vet it and then payment is done by uh, the uh, uh, finance department. So it was purely skewed to, towards um, the vetting of interim payments. So there were only quantities of years that are here. So we had to diversify and then we brought in civil engineers, um, architects, structural engineers, um, monitoring and evaluation uh, people in here so that we can go and then monitor the projects that we do. The concept came in from who watches the watchmen. Um, I will say that get found as an entity uh, like a funding entity, like World Bank, you're not supposed to go and then do procurement on our side. So what we do is basically funding of our projects, not the procurement aspect of it. So get fund, we don't give contract out. It is these entities that gives contract out. You don't give contracts, but you pay contractors? How yes. does that work? It is just like um, 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 uh, uh, World Bank, for instance. World Bank fund projects in Ghana, but mm -hmm. they don't award projects in Ghana. And that is exactly what we thought. So that you, have, you, you provide a financial... We provided the financial support. Okay, so That's if, it. say, GES contracted someone to build a classroom, and they say that it's got fund that will make that payment, when the person finishes executing, GES tells you that they, they, these people are done, you can wire the money to them. That's the kind of work you do. Yeah, I can answer that, but the example that you gave is wrong. Okay. GES doesn't do the contractor 
work who does, does it? it we have the ministry that does it okay so no the problem. regional regional coordinating oh, that's an example yeah, i mean yeah, if yeah. it's so it's ministry in some no problem yeah. let's know mm -hmm. that um how different are you from the scholarship secretariat the scholarship secretary per, per the mandates that we give um we're supposed to provide supplementary funding for uh, it used to be the uh, first there was a northern education something that we support them on uh, um, part of the payment but with the inception of free senior high school that goes off and then we give them supplementary funding for local scholarship so you but, give our scholarship secretariat mm, money to yes, give scholarship to yes, people yes you also give scholarship yes they are called scholarship secretariats yes. for a reason that mm. their job is to give scholarships. Mm. why do you also give scholarships well um if i should say this is something that has gone on and if you want us to go to that level it take us a longer time no, just there is, explain for me there, why is, there, there is a there is a clause in our mm -hmm, act mm -hmm. that permit that i've i've defended this so you're legally agreement. allowed yes to award scholarships yes to which it. kind of people to foreign scholarship because the uh, um the act that don't say that we should um give scholarship uh, we should fund uh scholarship secretariat for foreign scholarship no leave the scholarship secretary i want mm. to know what you do in terms of scholarship as get fund okay we do the foreign scholarship what does that mean we fund uh, students that have gotten um uh, admission outside the country and then we support them do, do you have but, specific programs you look out for or yes. if you're a Ghanaian and you uh you are admitted to any university you apply to get fund and you get a scholarship how does it work that is that is it but we have the criteria for you to get into it What's the that is there about i can just oh, no, just, uh, just the key areas the key areas mm -hmm. yeah we, we we do 70 um stem and then 30 um humanities okay. that is it um, every year yeah every year. that's that's that is a ratio mm -hmm. that we do in terms of the funding mm -hmm. the funding there um we give um uh, uh, preference to um uh, ladies more more than men okay. in terms of when there is parity okay. the lady will be chosen over uh, the, the man, man. Yeah. Okay. but um this um forum that we have and this discussion that we have we've had the first one that was on funding of uh, there's been a presentation on funding of get fund where questions were asked on that this is an infrastructure one there is a third one that mm -hmm. will come that will seek to uh, address all the questions under scholarship. So if I applied to university in the UK mm. and I got admission, mm. regardless of what course I'm going to read, if I come to apply to you, you'll give me a scholarship. No, it is not like that. Okay. There is a criteria yeah, that I've set as a, mm. and um, there are a lot of students that come in there. And that come in there. So it is a process of vetting and whatever on, on average on. about how many students do you give scholarships in a year in a year about uh, 250 250 mm. do you know how many you get in applications uh, in the thousands in the thousands so yeah. you have a panel you vet them yes some of them it's a mixed type of selection there are some that we call for interview some that is done on the decks okay. and then other other, other there's people. an accusation mm. that all you do as get fund is to send parties for to food soldiers abroad universities this is something that has come in in the past before and i answered them i have evidence i went to a uh, station and then i to i told them even that year there are about 60 students that we interviewed here nobody knew in uh, knew what they were mm -hmm. they were chosen based on their uh the the the, the programs that no because I the have... minister called you the minister no, called no, you no 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 Mm. No, 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 no. Not because no. their names came from Jubilee House. No, 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 no. Are you no. sure? I'm telling you because uh, pra that is that is a reason why today I've invited you here to to let us tell the get fun story, not mm. the hearsay and then what has been happening in the past. So we can't yeah. if we went to the UK, US, or any of those universities where you send students to, we can't find students who are there simply because they bear a party card of blue and white. Uh, for that, I don't. I don't know. I mean, you, all that I know, all that I know is that 
we give scholarship to Ghanaian students. Okay. That is all. Do you get, um, do you have protocol list for Ghana Education Service, uh, Ghana Education Trust Fund, as in protocol list where there are people who can bring you students and you have to automatically admit them? Uh, for that, I can't say because there's a panel that does that. And when we're doing that, uh, it doesn't, uh, I, I, I can't. They, they, uh, it's possible that maybe somebody will maybe uh, come to you that I'm a party person. And I said that in order for us, hmm, in order for us not to be seen giving party or somebody to perceive that a party person came in here and then we gave it. We do everything online. Mm. So we don't, we don't even get a uh, physical um, uh, application. Everything is done online. And when it is done online, I don't think if somebody is submitting something online, will even tag the thing with uh, a letter from the minister or something, because those are not things that we require. Do you give scholarships to students in Ghanaian universities or Ghanaian Yes, we do. You do that? We do that. So which, which one is higher, the students abroad or the students in In terms of what? In uh, terms of your hierarchy? In, in terms of, no, in terms of the number of students. So in the year, you said you take over 250 students. Yeah. About what percentage of that are in Ghanaian schools and what percentage are No, in... no, no. They, I, we were talking about the uh, foreign scholarship. That is where... Yeah, so that's I, what I, I said. Okay, you, the, you also do local scholarship. We also scholarship. do local. For uh, the local scholarship, this year we took close to about 2,000. Wow. So in yeah. total, you take over 2,200 Yeah, this year, this year, the, year. Number, the number was, was up, about okay. 2,000. There's a question that if I can offer communication at the Ghana Institute of Journalism, why do I have to go and offer communication at Cardiff and get a get funds that scholarship? What do you say to that? That is exactly the point that I always make. That some of the courses that we do in here, and that is that is if you look at our criteria, I don't have it here because I knew that we we're coming to do mm. infrastructure. We we'll do infrastructure. But, oh, we have but, a, mm. but those are the things that I I put in. That if a course can be done in Ghana. You don't stand that chance. We, we do it based on uh, your ability to obtain that. So courses that we can do, it's part of our criteria. Courses that we can do as much as possible, those courses we don't. That's why we're trying to up the percentage by about 70% of STEM project. Because mm -hmm. with the STEM project, you could have been doing it in Ghana all right. You could have been doing the same project, you know, but you see that uh, something like IT, um, um, uh, the IT courses, and then those that are related with cyber security, exposure out there gives you more, more experience than here. But for me, I don't see why you should go outside and then be doing business administration. Business administration out there is equally almost the same as the Is this yeah. your personal policy or, no, that is, or it's something that is what in, enshrined in your law? No, that, no, it's not enshrined in the law, but as an administrator, that's where I'm pushing the, 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 the whole thing. In so my job. question is that if you leave, mm -hmm. can this continue or before you leave, the next person who comes can decide, no, forget this guy. Now that is our criteria for selection. So, and so I it's in that, print? Yeah, it is in print. We've yes. been called to Parliament to okay. uh, come and then explain how... So the next how person would abide by yeah, that? Yeah, he should abide by that. I see. So mm -hmm. currently, you can put hand on chest and say to me that all the 200 plus students you have abroad are studying courses that we don't readily have in our universities? Um, I can't say that. I can't say that. But I, I told you that the selection process makes sure that that... Uh, as much as what I cannot tell you that we have a hundred percent proof uh, um, admission process, but we make sure that we maximize the. No, but you see, my point is that I asked you whether this was your personal policy or is the law. If it's your personal policy, we can't hold you much, but you have decided that this is what you want to introduce. Mm -hmm. But if the law, and you just said you've discussed with Parliament, if the law says that henceforth. Don't award scholarship to students abroad if what they are offering there is done in Ghana. I'm asking if that is the case. And if that's the case, then mm. it means if you have students abroad who are offering what they can offer here, then you're breaching the law. No, it is not. I've told you that that is, it is our 
uh, criteria of selection. Yes. I didn't say that that is the law okay. or the act. So it's a criteria that you are working on? No, with, with, with uh, the board has approved that criteria. So board has approved it. It means mm -hmm. that it's a mandatory thing now that if you're going to University of Dundee, whatever mm -hmm. you're going to study there, should not be a course you can do at KNUST, correct? That is that is the ultimate that we want to we want to achieve, but as you know, um, it's possible that uh, maybe uh, somebody can come in and then maybe the person is going to do um, a course that is part of the humanity mm -hmm. because I told you that we have seventy percent mm -hmm. um, uh, STEM and then in terms of funding. 30 percent uh, humanities mm -hmm. that's what I that's what I mm -hmm. said so for the 30 percent humanity based on the criteria because there are other criteria that will also help so that is not the unique criteria for selected there are various and every point gives um, every um, part of the criteria gives a point okay do you get it so it's possible that somebody may fault in one of the criteria but the person does well in other of the criteria okay. so at the end when you do the cumulative effect the person can 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 do that so these are so for instance okay. if you are going to do um stem mm, and then i give you about uh, the panel gives you about 15 percent there are other uh, uh, part to that that also make you go up or let do, you drop do you only give scholarship to masters or you also do first degree we do we do we do masters but um first degree only uh, medical uh, sciences okay. that, that a very few okay a very few are them. students in cuba studying to be doctors are you the one no sponsoring no, them? That's no that's not under, that's not under. next question I'm always receiving messages mm -hmm. on social media. People mm -hmm. say that, listen, we are in this country, we are university students, we have to get fund scholarship, they are not paying. Why don't you pay them the money? You didn't get those messages. I don't think you did. Oh, I do. I wish they, I could just dig up into my... Go back and mm -hmm. then check from, mm -hmm. from records. Mm -hmm. You will see that since we took over from 2017, mm -hmm. that narration has changed. And I can tell you from authority that they always say that scholarship, they don't say get fund scholarship. Mm -hmm. We have a plan that we've done. Before uh, I, um, I took office, the scholarship were done in such a way that we can get a student in the same school that the students get uh, paid and then one other person will not get paid in the same school. When I came, I scrapped that and then we do equitable distribution of resources. So we have a plan, even before the students go, we tell the students that we're going to pay 50% of your fees. When you go, we give you 30% of your stipend. At a definite time, we tell you that the first, the third, the second stipend will come, and the third stipend will follow. That has been the way that we've managed. So you don't well. have foreign, your students abroad? None, who have not been... none, 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 none. I can tell you of, uh, from authority. And because of that, they are against that we've made in the scholarship sector. Last year, for instance, none of our students went for, um, uh, uh, um, um, how do you call it, the visa application and was dropped. Before that, about 50% was what was going on. 50% go in and then... Because those countries don't trust that you pay the students. Yes, now it has been sanitized. Been and I tell you, okay. there has been delegation that mm -hmm. has come to get fund now. Mm -hmm. And they have... A relationship with us you can check and you see that get for answer and because of that they've come to give us rebate and there are there are schools that for every two students that we with every three students two that we sent in the third student they let him pay about 50 percent finally in 30 seconds mm -hmm. Why should Get Fund continue to engage in scholarship when we have a national scholarship secretary? This is something that is debatable. I went to Parliament. We have done that for the past 20 years. And you know, if something goes into, um, it's been practiced over a, a period of more than 10 years, mm? Mm -hmm. and um, it becomes institutionalized. And then we always go to Parliament for that, for approval. And you know that when parliament approves, it becomes law. Mm -hmm. And every year when we go, it is approved. That aside to the act 2E 
mm, 2E gives that mandate that everything that is educational, the minister in consultation with the board can do that. So, for instance, if Get Fund mm, decide that we're going to sponsor football competition in secondary schools and then it is approved by the board. You can mm. go ahead and do it. We can go ahead but, because... But, so I'm just asking in terms of for practical reasons and even for the purpose that we have and for issues of duplicity. We have a scholarship secretariat. If I, am, I came to Ghana and I needed a scholarship, I should be told that this is where we give scholarship. Why should but, get fund not focus on other stuff, infrastructure, and leave the scholarship to the scholarship secretariat? Let me, let me, let me answer this by saying that scholarship that we do is about 5% uh, of our total. Why don't I you don't. hive it off completely and no, give it to scholarship me, secretary? That is, that, is, that is for them to decide, parliament or that. But I tell you, the last time that I went to parliament, they even told that when we change our act, we should enshrine that clause that get fund should do scholarship. Secondly, our scholarship that we're doing is a bit unique, different from the scholarship secretary. What's unique about yours? Um, apart from the scholarship that they do, that is where people know that it is um, for brilliant but needy students. We also do a special type of scholarship. That's uh, another variant. That is capacity building. So if, for instance, you, Omaru, you are in your area and you want to, we think that there's a program that you can do and then come and then save Ghana. You don't fall within the scholarship secretariat form of uh, scholarship. You can apply through that process and we will give you scholarship for you to go and then do the, um, come and then uh, work and then uh, do whatever you have okay. to do. Yeah. Aside that, uh, there are agencies that we've been doing scholarship for them. There was, um, if your building has got burned before, you see where I'm covered. I had that situation. Everything got burned. I just, yeah, I just came mm -hmm. back from work and then everything that I had was burned. There, um, I went to one of the universities, UCLan in uh, uh, UK. They had a, a fire safety, some sort of um, uh, training over there. I came and then I asked, and I found out that there isn't any person in Ghana that had that qualification. So with that um, capacity building, every year we sponsor three um, for that training. For that training. So, so you're others. saying that your scholarship is purposive. It's purposive. Thank you. Yes. This is face to face on City TV. My name is Umaru Sandam, and my guest is a get fund administrator. We've been talking about the scholarship wing of the secretaries. When we return, we'll talk about the controversies around the projects that they have done or have not done. The e blocks has been a controversial one and more. Please stay with us. In 1957, the Gold Coast gained political independence from Great Britain after approximately 83 long years of colonial rule. 65 years later, is the Black Star still a shining example of black excellence, resilience, royalty, and sophistication for the African continent? Or is the Black Star simply a black star? What has become of us? What has really become of Ghana? What is the true state of the nation? The Matrix Verse, Ghana at 65, the state of the nation. A poetry concert by Apioko, coming to you on the 18th of November, 2022, at the National Theatre. In partnership with the National Theatre of Ghana, the KGL Foundation. Tickets, VIP Black, 300 Ghana CDs single, 550 Ghana CDs double. Standard Red, 200 Ghana CDs single, 350 Ghana CDs double. Student Gold, 100 Ghana CDs. For ticket purchases, dial the short code star 447 star 2173 hash. Partners, UNESCO, BU by Bella Mundi, Ehala Casa, The Musical Lunatics, Colorcast Print Solutions, Avonzige Fashion House. Sponsors, Create Concept, Poetry Association of Ghana, Himaya Assuring, Ahaspora Young Professionals, Democrats Abroad, Ghana, the European Union, Media Partners, City TV, 97.3 City FM, Ghana Weekend, Amaya Debra Media, Hyperlink, this is a Beyond the Return event. The Matrix Verse is an Apioko and Fablings co-production supported by Tunic Africa.
Yeah, welcome back to Face to Face on City TV. My name is Umaru Sandamado. My guest is Dr. Richard Buedo. He is the Get Fund Administrator. We spent the past 20 minutes talking about the scholarship wing of things. Let's focus on infrastructure now. You said that scholarship is just like 5% of what you do. Let's talk about infrastructure now, which is what is key that you've been doing. Because we always hear contractors here and there. I've said that I've seen your buses or the buses that you sponsor. Tell us what you do infrastructure-wise. Um... Primarily, we, we support the tertiary sector in uh, the, uh, the universities and the colleges of education by putting up the, uh, um, most of the edifices, that's the lecture halls, the uh, hostels, and um, uh, other, other uh, physical infrastructure in there. So the university will apply to you and say, oh, we want to put up a, a hall or a hostel. Can you help us? Is that a kind of how it works? No. Like I said, get fund operates through the GTEC, uh, which um, in the past used to be NCT, National Council for Tertiary Education, now uh, Ghana Tertiary Education Commission. What we do is we give them a bulk money, allocation of a bulk money, and then they distribute based on uh, a certain formula to the universities. So what they do is when they receive that allocation, then they so decide that I'm going to use it for A, B, C, and D. That has been the practice. Okay. Mm. And so this will also play for when it comes to secondary school. The secondary school has a different thing. They apply and then uh, they have uh, various forms of ap uh, ap application. There, there are some of them that goes through GES and GES will forward it to us. Some go through the ministry and then the ministry will forward it to us. And then others come from the regional coordinating council and then uh, it gets to get fund. So yeah. Over the years, what are some of the key infrastructure projects that you have been involved in? We have a lot uh, that we've done. Schools like um, Koforidia Technical University was built from scratch. UDS, the whole, the whole thing. There. UDS built by Get Fund. Um, most of the technical universities, most of their infrastructures were built by Get Fund. Uh, when we come to the secondary schools, too, there are a lot of them that were built from scratch, and then others too that there were uh, addition of uh, uh, projects. Or so. so after, after, after Get Fund, you were created in 2001 for a purpose. When you mm. say UDS, that's a Rollins University yes. that is credited to him. So you mm. did everything. The Kufridua Poly, at the time it would have been, yeah. you mm. built everything. He, he, most of the infrastructure in there. Complete, uh, I can say that uh, in terms of percentage, you can write off the existing uh, structures that were there. Do you engage in anything outside the education sector? Um, there might have been maybe, uh, I, I, I can't say, but primarily it is the education sector that we... we it's mostly your mostly, focus. Yeah, that's the focus. Okay. Do you mm -hmm. support curricular activities or you only do infrastructure? In the, we in also the do. That's why I said that um, there are others too that we do. Like I said that we support the ministry mm -hmm. and by supporting the ministry, uh, it means that uh, the ministry in their curricula or something of that sort, uh, all of them, uh, they have a budget that we, we give, so they can, they can be doing that. So too. when you agree that you're going to sponsor a project in a university or in a secondary school, of course you can't take care of it in one year. So mm. every year it's in your budget that, oh, we are doing something in this school, this is how much we have to keep sending to them until the project is that. Is that how it works? That is the tertiary sector. Okay. That, those are controlled by GTEC. Mm -hmm. But with the secondary education and then the basic school, an allocation is given. And um, based on the allocation that we have, they spend by that allocation mm -hmm. for those projects. So as and when interim pay payment certificates gets in here, then we pay. And then the contract till the contract gets ended. And then we give it to the beneficiary. Uh, really, um, if it's institution. an institution or um, uh, an agency or... I have whatever. two stories here. Mm. Bewa College of Education appeals to revive stalled Get Fund projects. This was uh, recent at 25th May, this uh, March this year. Uh, this story also says, delayed payments stall Volta Regional Library project. It was also on March 12, 2022. 
if you have so much money that you sink in these projects, why do institutions like Bewa College and Volta Regional um, uh, Library see delays to the extent that the people who manage these places go to the media to lament? Let me come and then we have to understand the process before we'll be able to answer this question. Okay. When you take the tertiary institution, for instance, you remember that I said I would give them a location. Mm -hmm. So for them, I'm going to talk about all the classes so that you understand how the situation and then the problem is. Right. The tertiary, we give them a location. So if a vice chancellor mm, uh, decide to build a block, for instance, block A, with a, uh, and we give an allocation, for example, five million for block A. Mm -hmm. Somewhere along the line, the university can go to procurement and then do a block B, do a block C. That is a new structure, mm -hmm. block C, but with allocation coming in. You see that the person hasn't faulted in the procurement law. But just let us know that it's the same allocation that we've given. And this has gone on from inception to date. And we are now feeling the effect because of what is going on. Hmm? And they do so at the blind side of the funding agency. So this you, you've given them bulk allo allocation for one block? Not one block. The allocation is given. Yes. And when the allocation is given, I'm talking about what has happened in the past. Yes. I will tell you what, what the situation what, now is. What, uh, what, what pertains, pertains now. now. Mm -hmm. So they do that and they found a way and they did multiplicity of projects with the allocation that they got. Is that corruption or it is just desperation? It is not corruption or it is not desperation. For instance, if I have five million mm -hmm. and then the five million I decide that I'm going to use it for uh, project A. If I get another 5 million, it gives me 10 million. Yeah. So I could have finished the project A faster. But you, you rather to start project B. But you start project B and then split the money into maybe three, two. Do you get it? Mm -hmm. And then what also happened was that when there's a new VC, the new VC, there's, these are some of the practices. So the new VC will come on and say that, oh, this is my flagship project. I know that uh, we have to get a science park and we have to get a science oriented. This thing. So these projects are not that important. So let's do uh, an engineering block or something of that, which is very laudable, but forgetting about the funding mm -hmm. source. And, and this can he divert the funds you have allocated for that to this engineering block or he cannot? He, no, that was the practice. So, so that's what they do. There's nothing for them there's nothing wrong because he has the funds and he think that you can break it it's um you can break it into many projects as your but funds are not tied to the project you cannot insist that i'm giving you five million it must be for the boys dormitory that is exactly what i did when so i that's I a new zumba. thing you do that's a new when i came in and i saw the multiplicity of projects going on i went to the board the board gave me approval and then i wrote to all the tertiary institutions that they are not supposed to continue any, they shouldn't do any new project. So that was the first point of action. Now, let's look at the effect to the fund. If a contractor was supposed to have used the money for contract A, the, the, the contractor could have finished within a very short time. But because there are the multiplicity of projects, the contractor, if the contractor is given, for instance, let me go back to the five million, and then you spread it over five projects, mm -hmm. even one million, one million, one million each. It means that that contractor who is working can, for the year, work up to one million and then stop. And this happened, fluctuation sets in because as, as the project uh, continues, it means that um, it delays. There is a compensating factor that we called uh, the um, um, we call um, fluctuation. Mm -hmm. It is uh, an index that is that is being done by um, uh, we we use the um, statistical service and then um, BRI index. 
for, for the calculation. And you compensate the work, uh, the, because it's a, business, uh, um, um, it's a business thing that is entered into. So if prices go up, you compensate him by that. If they are not able to finish within the specified time, and prices go up, like how we find ourselves in now, they go for retribution. And they go to Central Tender Review Committee, they do it, and at the same time, too, Get Fund is not aware of that. This new innovation you brought about, do you not get people challenging you or possibly trying to mess you up because this is how they used to do their things? All of a sudden, some guy has come and he wants to change their ways. You see, um, in trying to do that, too, they must you must also try and then understand the situation. That was where I was getting up to. See, um, with that sort of way of contracting, it leaves them, um, let me give you an example. Mm -hmm. There is um, a particular university in Ghana that they are doing a project. And that project, the total cost of the project is about 90 million. And they were getting a location uh, in 2018, 1 million. So how many years do you think that they will be able to finish? Me and you sitting here, our children will come Forever. in. Yes, so till eternity. So thinking through that, there's another innovation to that. I went to parliament and it is even enshrined in the constitution that projects that are ongoing must be completed and then must be followed up and then completed. So those projects that we're doing in the tertiary, and that's what I told them. The, I went to Parliament for approval. We are not going to work on the uh, the allocation uh, type of thing for them again, so that uh, they will be given maybe one million or two million or three million, so that the contractor works to a certain capacity and has to wait for maybe next year for him to continue. So we did um, uh, uh, a cost to completion analysis, and then we came out with a figure. And then we've broken that figure into three, and we're saying that in three years, we're going to face all these projects. So what happens is that now the contractors that are on the tertiary sector, they are, they are going to work based on their capacity. So there is a pool of money that we set aside for them. And now the challenge is work and then come and draw from that kitty. And that is how we intend to solve that problem. This is but pre-finance. That is how Get Fund works. You pre-finance. Every project of Every project of Get Fund. Every project. Unless some uh, some of the there are some that mm -hmm. we give advanced mobilization. Okay. Either, but majority okay. majority of them. Okay. So let's are talk done. about some of the projects that you have done in twenty years or maybe in your six years in office. Mm -hmm. You can choose which one you want to share with us. Yeah. In twenty years, how many projects have you done? Or in six years, how many projects do you have some Um in the whole of the twenty we've we've uh, done about um, 9,400 plus projects. That is so our building, building projects. Building projects, mm -hmm. building projects. That is it. Building 9, projects. Yeah, 9,000 mm -hmm. and over. And um, for 2017 uh, till date, we've done about 2,500 um, uh, projects. What kind of projects are these? Do you mm -hmm. have a categorization? Yeah, we do it. We categorize it into um, tertiary, secondary, and then basic. That mm -hmm. is the broad classification. Okay. For it. But we can break it into maybe uh, a whole school. If it's a whole school, like the model schools that we've done, mm -hmm. where we have um, uh, nine of them, but um, seven being built from scratch. And then two... Uh, an existing school that we added a uh, new facility to it. So for them, we classify them separately, like the e-blocks do. We classify, even though it is under secondary, mm. because of uh, the way that they're special, we mm. classify them. But we have that and then uh, the basic schools, which are the uh, six unit classroom blocks and then the three uh, unit classroom blocks. And then if you uh, have done so much, why do you still get attacked for abandoning projects. You have so many abandoned projects. Why? 
Yeah, that is where I wanted to draw your attention, and that's where we are telling our story. Prior to 20, uh, 20, uh, uh, 17. 17, I talk about the, the second, uh, the tertiary. Um, I was left with the, the um, ministry and then the regional coordinating council and then the district assembly. That is where a lot of the mess came in. They were awarding way, 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 way by, uh, 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 um, above the budget ceiling. Even so without that, your per permission. Yeah, without our permission. And get fund itself were part to be blamed because they were also awarding through their um, consultants. So there were, like I said, multiplicity of projects. So it happens that you go to um, one school, a letter was written to get fund. Get fund gave them girls' dormitory and it went into the ministry. The ministry also gave them girls' dormitory to be the same school. Yeah, so that was it. So um, you f we found out that projects have been awarded in far excess of the funds' capability to do that. So mm -hmm. for uh, um, the first few years, we were owing contractors about eight hundred and thirty million, and our commitment—that is, if you give, you pay the contractors, they go back and then they work. Mm -hmm. That amount that we had to use to finish those projects. If we've sat here, folded our arms without doing anything and then giving that money, that would have taken us about six to seven years for us even to complete the ongoing project. So that's that's the story. There are a lot of projects out there that has not been com completed. But do, you, do you have a figure? Because you've given me a figure that 9,000 is what you have done mm -hmm. in 20 years. Mm -hmm. And in the past six years, you have mm -hmm. done 2,000. Yeah. Do you have a number of projects that have not been completed yes the the the, the figure the figure the figure is there. i don't know if your slides are okay. in in here the okay. figure is there uh presently for legacy projects we have um we have 2583 ongoing okay. and then 1126 so when, when you say legacy project, about, you mean projects that were dead before, before you came, you, mm -hmm. I came. Okay. If, when you add them there are about 3600 projects that are ongoing okay these are projects so you have not abandoned them no but you're not doing it you see that is what i want people i'm, I'm trying to tell the mm -hmm. get fun story okay get fun doesn't award contract we pay the contractors mm -hmm. we pay the contractors so what we do is um what we uh the the total is about two thousand two hundred and uh, that is the completed projects okay. 2250 That's what okay yeah so um the agencies that award on behalf of get fund they are the ones that are supposed to be uh making sure that those projects are complete but rather even you the uh press you always go and they say that get fund project has been uh abandoned, abandoned. but it is those that awarded they, they, were the, they are the ones that are actually monitoring yeah, and then are consultant you give, you give money, yeah i'm coming to it. that mm -hmm. i'm coming to that so, with the discussion that we had over there, we said that, please, let us cooperate so that these projects will be... Because I told you that we have an office in Accra, mm -hmm. so we might not know what is happening all over Ghana. Which means you so, have a difficulty monitoring and evaluation. That is, where, that is why I'm saying that prior to that, there was no monitoring and evaluation. You have that now. Yes, now we have that yeah, one. That and because know. of that, we... And, and I told you that it's a concept of who watches the watchman. So now... The consultants know that get fund will be coming around to check. to check and because of that a lot of these projects are being revived mm -hmm. um i think you will come to the point of the contractors being paid which is what and i'm going to come now so you said 830 million or so is what you came to meet yeah as debt we've, contractors. we've paid uh, the 830 million long time ago okay. and we've paid contractors their uh, whatever came in from 2017 to 2019 Every so, contractor. So your, 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 your challenge now would be from 2020. Yes. Today. And that would and, be about how much? In and for, no, I'm coming. And even from the 2020, for the legacy pre, uh, projects, and then uh, all of them uh, boxed up together. As at 30th September, hmm, contractors in the basic school for the new projects, 
have been called to sign the innovation agreement. Once they do the innovation agreement from the bond issuance, they get paid in two, uh, two maximum two weeks. From this week, they are getting their money. So it means that we, uh, we are not owing the basic in the new mm, when they get paid. Secondary, same, 30th September. And tertiary, from uh, whichever date, if you box it up, let's say 2019, all tertiary are being paid. So you don't, have, left, you don't have get fund contractors? What is, what is left is the basics from legacy projects and then the secondary for uh, legacy projects. And I'm telling you, boxed all of them together we don't owe contractors even up to 200 million Ghana cities that that's, that's impressive yeah that's the I story i hope they don't show up demonstrating tomorrow i've after told this them interview. i've told them that it is a percentage of them mm. and they, they were they were there they were there i told them that this is how the payment is and i'm telling you one thing our areas from religious from finance mm, as of july it's 700 million that's what you're expecting from finance. Yes, 700 million. And we are owing the contractors 200 million. So, what would have been the so, story? So, if 700 comes, you are fine. You can continue to fly high. That is it. This is a Get Fund Administrator on Face to Face with me, Omaru Sandaman. When we come back, the issue of the e blocks, it was a Mahama campaign, an NDC legacy project. Now, the NDC has said how many projects it completed before leaving. The Get Fund has said, no, that's not true. Sami Jemfi says you can't believe an Akufado appointee to sing the praise of Mahama. We'll hear from the Get Fund Administrator when we come back on that matter. Please stay. It's that time again. Impact 2022. Today, we block the delays. We override the delays. We will celebrate the victory and the trial. Put your cancel, cancel every delay tactics of the enemy on the account of the blood of Jesus. Ministering, Apostle Joshua Selman. God does not speak sympathizing with your current situation. He speaks as touching your destiny. Pastor Jerry Eze. I command the power of delay be broken. Let your amen turn the louder. Reverend Eastwood Anaba. The time has come for you to stop playing religion and take your destiny in your hand. Bishop Gregory Toussaint. Spiritual warfare is first of all a lifestyle. You fight Satan primarily by the way that you live. Dr. David Enchi, Apostle Francina Norman, Prophet Victor Kusibuatin, Prophet Ajiman Prempe, introducing Minister Jonathan Rubain. Eight days and eight nights of power and impact, including a prayer breakfast on Saturday, December 3rd at the Prayer Mountain with Apostle Joshua Selman. Visit linktr.ee forward slash action ch for transportation, registration, and prayer breakfast tickets. Impact 2022, bridging the gap. to face to face on city tv my guest is a get fund administrator the Ghana education trust fund get fund says that 3.42 billion cities has been raised from its loans and bonds program as of june this year when we are struggling with our debts you are also busily collecting loans on our behalf ha, it 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 depends on how you look at it i've told you the problems that i was facing when we came in here with one the capping of get fund meaning that our revenue has uh, has been affected the contractor's agitation mm, that is the legal risk as a fund mm -hmm. and then there was this wide infrastructure gap in the system then the free shs also pop up and get found out a, a, a play a, 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 had role, to a play. role to play in that uh, process if you sit here and then you think that the releases from finance alone could have solved the situation. 
then I'm telling you that you are lying. So we have to think outside the box. That is how come we went into the securitization where uh, a portion of our revenue will be uh, set aside to do repayment and then we borrow and then we come and then build those infrastructure now. It's just like um, in the past, Get Fund was building like how our fathers used to. A contractor goes, does about uh, an amount that he thinks that is okay, bring it to Get Fund. It takes a very long time for it to be paid, goes up and till thy kingdom come before they are able to finish. So that was what was happening. I chanced on a research done by Building and Rules Research Institute of uh, CSIR. And they were saying that in order to complete projects in Ghana, it takes about 40% extra to do that, extra cost. But in that same research, it said that in the public sector, it was worse. The figures were even higher than that. But let's stay with the 40%. So if I can go and borrow an amount at a percentage of about 20%, percent and then I'm able to build within that period I make a savings of what 20 and that was the basis of my argument that went to cabinet and then we did that so, so, so what this this securitization you did mm, you have the legal back into the yes we had it, it went through um, the board approved it it went to um, it went to cabinet cabinet approved it and then it came to Parliament and Parliament had approved that. But it One, adds up to our debts, doesn't it? Our national debt. Or you sort not, yourselves out. We are an entity. Hmm? Mm -hmm. And me, for me, I don't think it should add up to the national debt. Okay. It's, it's just like an entity of government going to borrow on its, uh, mm -hmm. on its, on, on its books. Mm -hmm. I don't see why it should be added. But the, those in the finance guys, they, it depends on how okay. they take it. If they add it to the... That for that is that is, is going forever. to be a habit, or you're just doing it temporarily to deal with a matter. It is. It is. We went and we gave them a program of utilization, and then they agreed that we should go and borrow 1.5 billion dollars. At that time, it was 1.4, uh, the CD equivalent of 1.5 billion dollars in tranches. So you hear people saying that Get Fund has gone to borrow 1.5 billion. And they don't see anything that we've done, which is falsehood. If you look at what you, you, you just read, mm -hmm. it's only 3.4 billion Ghana cities, mm -hmm. not dollars. Mm -hmm. And that borrowing was done here in Ghana, not the 1.5 that they are thinking of. And then somebody will just calculate it by the interest, the, the rate of the dollar, and then said, hey, get fun. But are you done borrowing, though? No, still no, 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 we still, because for the... Um, 5.5 billion that we went to security, uh, security and exchange commission on the bond market that they approved for us. Mm -hmm. it, it, it was supposed to have been done in five years. So for the five years, um, we are in our third year. So we have 2023 20, uh, and 2024. That is when we'll finish with the first uh, tranche of um, the amount. That is the one billion dollars. So it's it's just three point four that has come. Let's talk about the get fund project, the mm. get fund funded e blocks. Or get the e -blocks. So the e block. What was your involvement in the e blocks? We did one hundred one. One hundred one. One hundred and one. One hundred and one. But currently, the ministry has terminated. Uh, I think twenty seven of them. They've put it on hold. The whole thing was. Um, um, those hasn't even started. It was just in the inception stage. So uh, they deem it that it has to uh, be, uh, to be uh, uh, put on hold. That's the ministry that they, that they awarded on behalf of Get Fund. For what we've done so far, there is that notion that projects have been dumped and we are not continuing. But I tell you, we've completed more of the legacy projects than the new one. So if that were the case, most of the legacy projects would have been left behind. But we've, we, we, we've done that because I told you that we paid all the contractors and we've been paying till 2029. That is uh, after 2020 that the hate came in. Okay, so, so if we're looking at the... Two, so Muhammad's promise was 200 E-blocks. 
No, it was 101 that no, came. Okay, that and was what he promised. He promised. Okay. Yeah, they were not able to. It was 101 that you said you were going to fund. Mm -hmm. It means that they can get another source of funding. The World Bank, no, the World Bank did BS. It was, uh, I think, 20, 24 or so. Okay. The World Bank. And it, are those the only two sources of funding? Yeah, two sources. So if they were supposed to have done extra, mm -hmm. if they were supposed to have done extra, would it have been get fund? So uh, you are doing 101? Yeah. The World Bank is doing 120, uh, 20, no, 20, 20, so less than 130 in total. 23, it's 23, 23. yeah, so 23. total 124. Yeah, total 124. How, out of your 101, mm. how many were completed before Muhammad Sipo left? Do you know that? Yeah, um, that is, um, I have it here. Mm -hmm. Those that were completed were 22. 22, which yeah, year? That is the Get Fund 1. Which year? Up to 2017. Uh, okay, 22 mm. were completed. Yes. Okay. Over since 2017 to date, how many more have been completed? 14. 14. Yes. So a total of uh, what? 30, so we, are we have less than 40 e blocks in the country. Are the World Bank ones completed? Yeah, the World Bank's uh, so one. So we have around 60 e blocks yeah. in the country mm -hmm. now. No, we have 65. 65. Yeah, yeah we have 60. Out of the 200 promised. Yeah. How many? Are Not you, one. No, I'm talking about what they promised. Yeah, they promised. Yeah. Okay. You are dealing with 101, which you were going to yeah. do. Mm. How many more do you have under construction that you are supervising? And uh, 65. 65. Of which I'm saying that uh, 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 27 has been put on uh, hold. You suspended 27. Yeah, 27. How soon before we finish the first uh, group of blocks? Okay. What we did was. Like I said, we have to find money, and that's where I went to Parliament to complete the ongoing project. Okay. So a first of 21 has been approved. Okay. And the problem with the e-blocks, um, I, I, I told the gathering in there that we don't owe any contractor on the e-block okay. as, as, as of now. Okay. But the problem with them is that it's a business that they are doing. It is not economically viable for them to go out. On. looking at the uh, price that has gone up so we have to revise the rate for them so that they can go and 21 of them has uh, been approved for the rate revision very well mm. we we'll, we'll leave it here now thank you so much doc for your time you're most welcome that's dr richard ampa Fobuedu. he is the administrator for the get fund my name is umaru sandamado thank you for watching face to face on city tv stay with us